Abuse of human rights. Nuclear weapons. The health of migrants. What can health professionals do about all these things? Medical piecework training courses are designed to help you answer this difficult question. The courses are free and anyone can use them. They are a valuable resource for health professionals, students and anyone who wants to address the human suffering caused by violence. Registering for the courses is very simple. All you need is a valid email address. The whole course is very easy to, um, to manipulate, even if you're not great on a computer. I like the fact that it's online. Uh, it means that if you're busy and you've got, you, you, it's difficult to fit in uh, educational work, you can just do it as and when you want to. Uh, I think the kind of multimedia aspects of it are really good. Uh, very easy to see what you're doing and pick and choose the bits that you want to look at. There are all sorts of different ways in which you can learn from it and you can choose it to fit your own, cho choose bits of it to fit your own learning style. There are seven online courses. Each one covers a different subject, from war and weapons, health and human rights, to refugees, discrimination, and problems at work. The multimedia courses have been developed by experts in each subject from internationally recognised organisations in over 11 different countries. There are different reasons why people migrate. There are factors that push people away from homes and families and those which pull them towards new opportunities. Audio, video interviews, interactive scenarios, photojournalism, and dramatic film footage bring the subjects to life and make the learning experience dynamic and memorable. Incorrect. Please try again. Good, that is correct. The courses are really entertaining rather than academic. Um, they look at the subjects in sort of a real life way as opposed to just classroom learning. For example, if you are looking at the refugee section of the course, it really uses films and pictures to give a sort of uh, a real understanding of the journeys that refugees go through. And besides being really humanizing, uh, this really helps to give an in-depth understanding of the issues that traumatized people face. The goals of the medical piecework training materials are to prevent war, terror, human rights violations and other abuses of power. To promote compassion, caring relationships, fair structures and a culture of peace to improve health outcomes for patients and communities in violent settings and to strengthen the health professionals' competencies in peace and conflict work. Well, health workers, as all international actors or, or even local actors working in a conflict situation, need to be aware of the fact that there's no neutrality that when one is providing resources, meaning both the tangible and the intangible, the curative resources, you are having an impact. You are having a non-neutral effect. You can be impartial between the two sides, but the impact of that aid is playing into the conflict in one way or another. Most of uh, the resources that you look at when you're, you're trying to get some background into this kind of, um, this kind of topic is it's, it's books, it's, it's journals, and a lot of the time it's information heavy. Um, but what you really need is, is, is some context, some, some real, um, real world accounts of, of what's been going on and that's, that's where this, this course really comes into its own. It really makes you feel like you're involved with a problem and you're really there trying to, to help solve it. And I think that, that's brought in by, by the experts who, are, who clearly have been there and are, are putting this together from their own, from their own accounts. The threads which hold together this diverse series of courses are the concepts of peace and violence. The definitions of peace and violence are based on the philosophy of Johann Galtung, 
in which he describes the two states existing in relative proportion to each other. Well, the equation I use in the interconnection between health studies and peace studies would be that violence is to peace what disease is to health. The opposite of peace is not only war, but violence, which can exist in a number of different forms. Professor Galton conceives peace as the capacity to handle conflict in a creative and empathic way. The concept of peace, expressed as a negation of violence, takes into account everything from nuclear weapons to verbal insults. Professor Galtung's definition of violence is based on the violation of basic human needs. Through his extensive research interviews, he found the same basic needs were important to people all over the world. These four basic human needs are survival, wellness, freedom, and identity. We as a doctor have promised that regardless of uh, age, of sex, of uh, uh, country or uh, ethnic uh, minority, we give, provide medical care at the same standard for all people who seek our help. Professor Galtung's theory provides a useful framework for medical professionals to assess not only their ability to heal, but the moral and ethical implications of their work in challenging and highly stressful conflict situations. You know that there, some doctors are more military than doctor and some, some are more doctor than military. And it depends on what is for them more important. The Hippocratic Oath obliges health workers to respect and promote human rights and to hold their fellow professionals to account if they find they are complicit in human rights abuses. In a way, it's inseparable from our diagnosis of ourselves, how we see ourselves as doctors. And it becomes very important that we not make the automatic assumption that because we're members of a healing profession, everything we do is good. One example of health professionals acting together against unimaginable death and suffering is their response to nuclear weapons. The, the doctor cannot ignore the issues of peace and war. Because if the doctor is not going to ignore pathogens who afflict disease, there is no greater pathogen than war. Another example of an intervention by health professionals is the use of medical data as evidence of the unacceptability of some weapons. I um, was in a taxi leaving London airport to, to drive into London and I saw a massive sign in front of me next to the road which had a photograph on it that I had taken in one of our hospitals and uh, this photograph of one of my patients being used in the campaign and I think that's the moment I actually realized that maybe Th there is more importance in working on, on, on prevention than on, on treatment. I certainly felt philosophically, if you like, more comfortable to use my surgical uh, experience to be a, um, a better advocate for a ban on mines. The courses cover the challenges of working in a violent context and of working with people who have experienced extreme violence. As well as dealing with the added stress, for health workers, this work may involve acquiring and developing knowledge and skills outside of their regular clinical training and practice. It is also necessary for health workers to take care of themselves. The work can provoke strong feelings, as it involves empathic listening to stories that are sometimes tragic and it can be difficult not to feel personally involved in the events described.
Something that one must always resist at this point, though, is giving yourself that feeling that you can solve all the problems. And very often it's important that you say, well, look, these are hugely complicated things that you're telling me. Um, I'll do my best. I'll try. Let's work together through this. Um, and in that way, one acknowledges one's own feelings, one's own limitations, and helps the person uh, as much as one can. Uh, good luck.